Halloween's coming up. Let's talk candy. What kind of a prude enjoys a crunch bar? You may as well just eat toast. 99% almond, 1% joy. Oh good, discomfort. That's what I look for in my candies. You know what, spare me the calories and just give me an Indian sunburn. Circus peanuts taste like Van Morrison's VJJ. What's the fucking sin? A, a Butterfinger is what a divorced dad eats in his Camaro. Payday, pay, payday for what job? Volunteering at a pigeon sanctuary? It's all peanuts. It's just peanuts. Just recklessly shellacked together. Like this is like when a child makes you a birthday gift. Wow, Andrew. Yeah, thank you so much for taping these Oreos to the lamp. Craig, please call Pier 1 Imports. We're gonna need a new fucking lamp. If you're an alligator with some time on your hands, this is a worthy investment. Charleston shoes should be sold at Home Depot in the lumber section. My day! Mr. Goodbar is what a very sick man calls himself in the mirror before exposing himself at a county fair. Candy for suck-ups. Oh, good, you got your duty. Your mints? All right, you teacher's pet. Good luck with your always fully charged phone battery and not getting HPV. This is a candy that predates women's suffrage and it tastes like it. Just tastes like the hopelessness of the Dust Bowl era. Uh, hey, Pa, do we have any more good planets? No, son, I gave the last one to the mule, who then proceeded to kick me in the tiddly wings. Oh, Lord, help my tiddly wings. I always think I'm gonna like these little pumpkin shows. Then I take a butt and whoa, okay, whoa. Am I gonna die? I mean, this is hard shit. This is what Tigger eats before going to the club. And this is Willy Wonka's Klonopin right here. I feel like whether or not you've ever eaten one of these should show up on the doctor's pre-checkup questionnaire. Do you smoke? Um, no. Do you drink? Occasionally. Have you ever had a candy corn pumpkin? Yeah, maybe once in the seventh grade. All right, people, get the gurney in here. We're gonna have to induce labor. What? No, please! Oh, goodness, look at this fancy-ass candy bar. Just because you were voted best looking in your eighth grade yearbook doesn't mean you can call yourself Caramello. All right, Sam thinks it's so hot. I'm the Caramello bar. I don't smooch on the first date. Oh, shit, my phone broke. Oh, peanut butter, I broke my phone. If candy bars had Instagram accounts, Caramello's would be private. Requesting to follow a private Instagram account, it, it feels like pressing and holding the doorbell of a party you're not invited to. What is this, a tax form? What are you gonna find in there? An application to work on h &R Block? What eating this says about you is, I love to off-road and I'm not afraid to punch a drag queen. I also, I see owning a tire store in your future. Why are tire store fonts so aggressive? Tire, fuck you! What is this filled with? Jigglypuff? Is Jigglypuff in there? It's like moon feta. I feel like Area 51 is just Three Musketeers headquarters and it's where they keep their filling. Come on, Snickers bars are for fit couples joylessly trying to get their blood sugar up. I just imagine these svelte couples running a marathon together and then this lady and the tramping a Snickers bar together. Then going home and vibram five fingering each other on a bed of rock climbing Groupons. All the while totally anxious though because they're trying to sneak a peek at the other one's pedometer to make sure that they're not too behind for the day. Twix's only competitive advantage is that there's two of them. Like a sad pair of twins who make out with each other at a party to get attention. Imagine buying one Twix. Uh, Dad, is Craig eating a chocolate-covered piccolo? No, son, that's a Twix. It's bullshit. 